Hello, my name is Nisa Risby. We are here producing a video on the Roșia Montana movement happening right now in Romania. With me is Kai Brand Jacobson, the director of the Department of Peace Operations in Patria. Hello. Hi, Nisa. Very nice to have you here. Nice to be with you. Um, could you please tell me a little bit about what you do in Patria? Certainly. Uh, Patrir is the first international organization from within Romania in history. Uh, we work in mediation and peace processes in areas affected by conflict and war around the world. And we also work within Romania to help support active citizenship, multiculturalism, and dealing constructively with conflicts at different levels within the country and internationally. Could you tell me in your own words what's happening right now in R Romania? There's a lot that's happening. I think for uh, an international audience, some of the things that are most interesting to know. Just uh, a few weeks ago, the government in Romania tried to push through a law which would have allowed a uh, foreign corporation, Gabriel Resources and Roche Montana Gold Corporation, which is its local uh, form here in Romania, to expropriate land in the Roche Montana area to take over people's private land and to be able to bypass a number of laws in Romania which uh, the company in its project has not been able to meet those standards. So the background here is that for the past 14 years this company has been trying to open uh, the largest gold mine in Europe. It's in an area that has been mined continuously for nearly 3,000 years from the period of the Roman Empire and before until today. The company's plan is to use a process of mining that would involve cyanide, 13,000 tons of cyanide every single year. And when the government tried to rush through this process to, to make the project go ahead, it was something that caused alarm across the country. And what we have seen over the last three weeks is the development of the largest environmental and civil rights movement in Romania's history, supported also by people around the world who are now calling for the government to stop this process and to shut down the project of Gabriel Resources and Roche Montana Gold Corporation in Romania. What would you say are the most important issues people should be aware of? Like if I don't know anything about the Roche Montana movement, how would you? I think there are three key issues which the movement is about now. Environmental, economic, and governance. On the environmental level, many people are concerned, not only here in Romania, but across Europe and internationally, at the, the design and how this project will be implemented. I mentioned the, the cyanide. This project would call for the use of 13,000 tons of cyanide a year in the entire European Union. All of the countries of the European Union put together, there is currently only 1,000 tons of cyanide used a year maximum. The government and the company are telling people that cyanide is a, a cheap, efficient and common way of doing mining and it is used in many countries. There have also been many environmental catastrophes resulting from the use of cyanide mining in Guyana, in Peru and elsewhere. What's important when they say that this is a standard process is they're not telling people that it is not usually done on this scale, the scale of using 13,000, 12 to 13,000 tons a year. And at the end of it, there will be a giant tailing dam, a lake that will be left of this cyanide. For these reasons, and recognizing the very serious potential of a significant environmental catastrophe in Europe and in an area close to the Danube Delta, environmental movements within Romania and citizens of the country are calling for the complete shutting down and stopping of this project. But the environmental is only one aspect. Another critical element is the economic. It's extremely important to recognize that the movement supports mining. The movement supports creating jobs and healthy economic development for the country. And there's a very legitimate and real need to have jobs for the miners and the people in the area of Roche Montana. The challenge is the reality and the details of this project. When you actually look at what is called for, the, the government of Romania, the state, will actually only receive a maximum of 6% of the profits which come out of this project. And when you look at the way that the stock has been diluted by the company, there's a chance that it would receive even less than that. At the same time, it's now been discovered that in addition to the gold and the silver, which the government would get 6% of, there are precious metals which the Academy of Sciences, uh, Scientists in Romania and some of the country's leading economists have said are worth more than all of the gold and silver put together. 
the Romanian government and people would get 0% of that. The company champions itself as a creator of jobs, a company that is committed to helping the, the poor people, the miners in Russia, Montana. What they don't tell you is that the company and with its partners within local government and others has effectively enforced an economic embargo on the area for several years now. It's been declared a mono-industrial zone by the Romanian government which has prevented alternative development projects which could have brought far more jobs and far more development to the region. They've also been working with the local authorities to not allow local companies and others to be getting business contracts or to start new businesses. This has worsened an already poor economic situation. We face a very real challenge in Romania that for the last 20 years we have never developed a real economic plan or strategy for how to uh, create jobs and how to support the development of infrastructure and a healthy economy in rural areas. The point is the movement of Save Russia Montana, Sabatsu Russia Montana, strongly supports economic development in the country, strongly supports creation of jobs in the country, and also supports having foreign investment in Romania. What it will not accept is a highly manipulative and corrupt project which essentially would steal the wealth and the, the potential for good economic development from this country for the private benefit of a very small number of investors, some of whom are currently under investigation by the FBI in the United States and others for criminal practices in the past with other dummy corporations that they have set up. So the economic aspect, the reality that Romania does need good jobs, does need good development, and this project is an absolute worst practice example that would be very damaging for the economy of the area and the economy of the country. The third point, which I think is one of the ones that is inspiring most people in Romania today, is the issue of governance. The people of Romania want something better, and that's what we're seeing in these demonstrations. They want to have a government that is actually acting responsibly and in the best interests of the country. Uh, a government that is helping to pull the country together rather than dividing it. And they're tired, tired of seeing the scale of corruption, manipulation and abuse that for 20 plus years the people of Romania have been exposed to. So what we're really seeing now is a movement of citizens of all backgrounds, all ages, all across the country standing up for something better in Romania. I think it's a very interesting movement. For people who, who know the background and the context within Romania, we have not seen a movement of this scale before. This is, as I mentioned, the largest environmental and civil rights movement in the country's history. The movement itself is also being extraordinary in the, the creativity and the approach it's taking. Um, we are seeing people of all backgrounds and generations. We are seeing parents bringing their children to these events. When we call it a demonstration, that doesn't really capture the flair, flavor of it. This is really a celebration of people that are discovering their dignity and are standing up. Um, workshops are being created around the country for people to be informed, having the chance to, to discuss and to get accurate information, which is one of the problems. Neither the government nor the company has been very open to actually having the materials, the contracts, everything involved in this project carried out in the open light. So there's been a lot of secrecy and people don't know about it. People have been misinformed about the realities of the project. We saw during some of the demonstrations in Bucharest, uh, musicians come into the central piazzas where there were thousands of demonstrators together and begin performing Vivaldi, performing the Beatles and others, and a hush came over all of the demonstrators there. It, it's something that is inspiring people in a context where there's often a lot of cynicism, where people often believe it doesn't matter what we do, the, the government will do whatever it wants. It's inspiring people in the country to believe that they can make a difference, that their voice can be heard, and that it's possible to actually move forward away from the corruption, away from the incompetence and the mismanagement that we've seen for the last 20 years, and begin to do something right. Where do you see the movement going? Are there specific next steps that are important? Well, if you see where it's come just in the, the course of the last few weeks, that itself has been something extraordinary. The Salvat Rocha Montana campaign has been carried out for more than 14 years now, and Albunus Mayor, an organization from villagers in the community itself, 
And they have really managed to stop this incredibly bad project from going forward for 14 years. And when people realize that the commitment, the dedication, the involvement of a few dozens of individuals from, from Romania across the country with some support from people around the world who've been here and, and, and working to help them, um, and seeing the success they've had over these 14 years, that's quite extraordinary. That's something I think that that for many Romanians, if they really knew the background to this, the, the courage, the involvement, it'd make them very proud. But from that to what has happened now, it's quite extraordinary. In the last few weeks, we have seen cities across Romania filled with thousands and thousands of people coming out onto the streets and calling for the protection of Roche Montana, for an end to corruption, and for the shutting down of this project in the country and the development of a healthy, sustainable, good mining process and good process for job creation and economic development. We have seen people who have not taken part actively in this way before getting involved, discussing together, coming up with creative ideas and really raising the awareness of the country. But also, it's interesting to know what's happened internationally. Most people around the world have not heard of Russia Montana. Most of them don't really know what's happening in Romania. And yet in the space of just a few weeks, because of the involvement of citizens using Facebook, contacting friends, discussing with people, and Romanians around the world living in different countries, we're now seeing solidarity actions being carried out in more than 22 countries around the world. We're seeing actors like Woody Harrelson stepping up and saying, save Rosio Montana. We're seeing elected officials in different cities and different countries around the world who are now working to pass resolutions to call for Rosio Montana to be made a UNESCO protected area, a world heritage site. Where does the movement go now? What would be needed now that you have this involvement? We saw last Sunday more than 30,000 people across the country. I think keeping the demonstrations, continuing with this momentum is very important. Having the people coming out onto the street and having the numbers continue to grow. And it's important that the, the government in Romania realizes this is not something that is going to go away. Uh, each of its actions to try and mislead or confuse or manipulate people over the last weeks has led more and more people in the country to say enough. We don't want this anymore. So I think we're going to see the, the continual growing of the major actions and days of global solidarity across the country. But now there's a focus when you listen to people uh, within Romania, people who are, are involved across the country, for them a very important focus now is to reach out to the broader 90% of the population, to reach out to people of all generations, to reach out to the business community, to reach out to students who will be coming back to university soon, to reach out to their parents, to reach out to people in rural areas and get them to become involved. There's an idea of we are all Rocio Montana. This is not just something that is affecting the people in this specific community. In a way, it has become a symbol for many, many years of corruption and bad governance of major economic development projects from the Rosh Montana one to the highway that was supposed to be built across the country to the management of the oil in the Black Sea where Romanians have just had to, to witness extraordinary corruption and mismanagement blocking opportunities for job creation and economic development and now they're saying no. So you're seeing a focus on ensuring that people are well informed getting the facts out to people, creating spaces for active citizenship, for dialogue, for discussion, presenting both arguments that people think would be for this project and arguments for good economic development and environmental protection in Romania and for the Savat Roshi Montana campaign. And then for people to be informed and to make their decisions. So broadening the movement, deepening the movement. We're also seeing a focus on reaching out to local authorities and to elected officials across the country. And this is a very important development in, in Romania. Citizens demanding that their elected officials act with accountability and in the best interests of the country and no longer in the interests of corruption or abuse of Romania. So we're seeing the, the improving this approach of citizens demanding good governance. I think there will be a focus on the legal aspects, there will be attempts to get the European Union involved, there's the continuing work to have uh, Rosh Montana made a protected area, 
And I think we'll see a very dynamic growth of the movement across the country and with solidarity increasing internationally. Do you truly believe this movement will be um, successful? I do. I, I believe when we, we look at what's happening in the country now, we look at how it's being handled. I've been living and, and working in Romania for many years, full time since 2001, and I first visited the country in 1997. This is my home. This is where my children will be born. And I've seen many developments over the years. I have never seen the level of hope, the level of solidarity, the level of responsible engagement that we're now seeing. I believe this movement can succeed. The question of whether it does succeed depends very much upon what people do. It's not something that will just go one way or another. It depends upon every single person who's watching this video. It depends upon people across the country continuing and knowing that it is worthwhile to stand up. Many people in Romania feel powerless. They feel that there's nothing they can do, that the government won't listen to them, that even if they know this project is wrong, what does it matter because the country has been abused for years and there are people also who are being misled, who are being told this is the only opportunity for jobs or this will bring investment. I think there is a need to really listen to people's concerns, to create spaces for respectful discussion, but also to help people discover that their voice, their hopes, their dreams for what they want to see for this country matter. And if people look at the facts, this isn't something where it's, well, maybe it's good or maybe it's bad. This is one of those very glaring examples of incredible corporate abuse, of an extractive industry gone wild and irresponsible, of irresponsible investors trying to get rich off of exploiting and manipulating a situation in a country. I heard someone say recently that today, to be Romanian with self-respect, you need to get out into the streets. You need to stand up for the future of your country. And because people are doing that in ways that I've never seen before, in ways that I think would inspire people all across the country and internationally, I believe this movement will succeed. And I believe it will succeed because I think that more and more people will become involved, that solidarity around the world will grow, and the people of Romania will see that it is possible for them to choose and to create themselves a better future for their country. Well, thank you very much, Guy. Thank you.